Okay, okay, okay. That took a little longer than I thought. That's okay. That's okay. We got it. Also, I got some questions answered, which is great, but... Why is the mod symbolism not coming up? That's a little worrisome. Not that I need it, but still, it's kind of... like an olive top with a woodland bottom so basically that but with uh, am i gonna am i gonna even have it <laughs> that's that's the most annoying part worst comes to worst i'll just do like a ranger green but we'll see or the multicam g3 would be best but let's see if there's anything under 3cb i can pull also, Zen, thanks for the uh, sub, my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations and I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Oh, that cider upstairs, by the way, tastes excellent. I'm more of the, the tart type of cider guy. Heavily spiced. Uh, I will say, though, because this is a new recipe I tried because, you know, moved in, knew everything. Uh, I'm going to, instead of a full orange, do half an orange next time because there's a little bit too much of an orange accent at the end. Um... And then I already did all the spices it told me to. I'm going to do a little bit more on my recipe list because it was a little underspiced for my taste. But I know for most people, they prefer it. Uh, they prefer what my definition of underspiced is, so it's a okay. Yeah, this is all ANA stuff. And Altian stuff, so we're just gonna go with the G3 multicam on the bottom and call it a day. Um, so, cider is you take um, apples in the double digits, you quarter them, or you half them, depending on how big they are. Like smaller apples, you half, bigger ones, you quarter. Um, you then remove, you pit them. Uh, because you don't want the bitterness of the stems and the seeds. I didn't pit them this time, which is why there's a bit of a bitter acetone in mine, but I kind of like it. But if I had guessed so, I'd remove that. Um, so you core the apple, then you throw them in a pot. You fill the pot with uh, water until the apples are covered, or you can at least submerge the apples because sometimes I have to float to the top. You add cinnamon, nutmeg, clove and allspice and then you cover you bring it to a boil and then you cover it you bring it down to a simmer you simmer it for two hours oh right in an orange right because you it's a good sweetness um you can also add sugar if you want again i prefer tart ciders instead of sweet cider so i normally don't this time around i added a little bit of black sugar uh black sugar, brown sugar uh just to see what the flavor profile would be like um but I think the orange actually just completely overpowered it. But you then bring it to a boil, let it simmer for two hours. Uh, then you take the top off. You then increase the heat slightly so it simmers again, but you mash the apples within the pot. And then you also, before you do that, need to make sure you take the orange out. And then you let that simmer for another hour, give or take. Uh, you can also, you know, pull, uh, take spoonfuls out, taste it. Reseason it accordingly. If you want it to be sweeter, you add more sugar. If you want it to be more spiced, then you add more spice. Uh, you just have to make sure you would let it go for at least 10 minutes if you add new stuff so it evenly balances through everything. Um, and then you strain it. So what I like to do is I'll either use a cheesecloth or a big strainer with the little slits on the side for pasta. I'll strain it into there. And then I will, you know, just shake it around a little bit, make sure everything drips into the um, the container I have on the bottom. And then I will take that mixture and I will throw it uh, through a fine mesh strainer. And then um, sometimes I'll also pull it through uh, cheesecloth, but this time I, well, not cheesecloth, excuse me, um, coffee filters. But this time around, I just did a very fine mesh strain. And then I went through the fine mesh strain again because you want to get all that applesauce style stuff out. Um, or you can keep it in. It, again, this is where it's dependent on what you want on your cider. If you want a thicker cider, then you keep the you only strain it once. If you want a thinner cider, 
Uh, then you strain it two or three times, uh, get more and more fine along the way. Okay, so I need to redo this guy. Because we're only doing two tourniquets. <laughs> so pardon what I said about that earlier. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do seven seven. Now nah, we'll do six six and six. Devil. Uh, two debug cable ties. I'll bring up the lucky sevens because of the two cable time. Trying to think if there's anything else. Um, map tools. Yeah, or a flashlight. Uh, we'll do the flashlight and then... Yeah. Productivity. Yeah, right? Turtle, shut up. Oh, nice stream. But yeah, no, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do dev work for another 30, 45 minutes, and then I have to cut the stream. Go upstairs, clean the kitchen, come back downstairs. We'll be doing at night of um, Mike Force for the rest of it. Um, why are the commands still busted? I don't know why. I've I've noticed that over the past week. The um, yeah, it says Anna Zay on my end, but if you update it, it goes to it still says it's the. Fucking Arcadia by Night of Wizards. So I'm just gonna go through and re-update all my commands. Cause it just doesn't wanna work. What it what it means is there's a miscommunication between stream elements and a Twitch server. So I just screw me, right? I think we're gonna use SPCS. For this stuff. Okay. So map tool. What bugs me is that says green smoke right there, so we're gonna use a regular one. But he has a different type. Oh. See, this is what bugs me the most. Look, so he's got two different types of magazines. He's got these two and these two, but they're both like a... you got a freaking puller mag, and then you have a freaking... I guess your tracer's on the side? Which actually makes a lot of sense. You give them different codes, but still. It, it annoys me. It annoys me to high hell, and I, I don't like it. Re. Oh, and he also said I could do ACOGs for everyone. So we're going to do the standard... Where is that damn thing? Not the 150, or no, is it the 150 RCO? I think it is the 150 RCO. Not to be confused with the, uh, not the 230s, the, yeah, okay, yeah, no, the TA31s. We're gonna do the, uh, the standard 150s. And... Pilots will get MP7s. I think we'll keep the Mark 18s. So I need a laser module with them. Um, not on the top though, I need it on the side. Editor Savant Dream. <laughs> That's cute. We're gonna go in suppressed. Uh, I'm going to do a standard... Well, no, we would do... We would do 318 at this point. One second, let me, let me fact check that. Yeah, S-O-S-T, so that's there. Yeah, latest next-gen ammo. When were you produced? Yeah, 
specifically CQC and behind barriers. That's what this ammo is for, and that's what would be used in this scenario. All right, cool. All right, yep. No, we're going to do uh, 318. Uh, I'm going to match it with those two. I'm, I have no choice but to match it. With this fucker. Real quick, I need a SPCS. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Motherfucker. Those are PMAGs. So, I've got the rifleman. And I got an alternate rifleman here with regular box. So we're going to... But it gives me a green smoke grenade. So I can't win. I can't fucking win. So we're just going to go with the fucking green smoke grenade. And give everyone a green smoke grenade just to keep it even. Um, why? Because... Realism. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's see. We got two, four, six... Only six mag pouches. All right, so that's not too, too bad. We've got two grenade pouches. I'm going to, you know, obviously increase these. So I'm going to reset this. We're going to do the 18 for his stupid green smoke grenade. I'm going to do two 83s. Um, six mag pouches. And this is just my base. I'm going to add to it later. Uh, these are the ace. Oh, wait, those are the Archos ones. Um, yeah, because those are the P mag. Stanag... 318. That's the ace one. Let's, uh, let's they have different damage miles, so that's why you got to be careful about them. But we're going to ke uh, keep our HS going. There's two 67 pouches. And, I mean, the rest is just simple utility. Uh, let's go through his uh, simple stuff here. We'll do 152s. Uh, GPS, map. Vector 21 Knights. Uh, this would be the quad. Okay, that's broken. Uh, we'll have no choice but to do that one then, because I don't have quad GBUs, which is fine. Um, we'll do the, we'll do the dual bino then. Because that clips well off the helmet. Yeah, and I like the alt, because it has a little black slain to fit with that one. So, from there... What can we add to them to make it better? Uh, Hunt IR strobes are going to be a must. We'll do 10 of those. I'm going to do... Four of that. And honestly, we need more ammo. And secondaries. Can I suppress the 9, or is that going to have to be a Glock? That's going to have to be a Glock. Uh, so we can... Put that on it. Doesn't take a top scope. We can do a pistol flashlight. You're right. No, they would need flashbangs, too. Uh, so let's do the 83... Oh, it's the 84. My bad. Ace ones, because RHS ones are painful. We'll do two per guy. Did it not save the pistol? Hello? Oh, because you typed 318. That's why. So let's see. He doesn't have any little pistol pouches that I can identify. So you can say they're in the side pocket. But I don't think he's going to have the room, yeah. Unless I cut the bandages. So what I'm going to do instead is... We're going to cut these. I'm going to then... Where's the pistol? 
It's all the way to the top, isn't it? Uh, we'll do FMJ. Let me guess, he's got JHP loaded? Yeah, FMJ. Well, Bar, it, for mine, um, Karma's wanted to do this ever since Splendid Squad. I've just had to push it back because I've been busy with other projects. And um, it's October, so everyone and their Send mother wants to book T6. me for now. a spoopy op. So October's really hard to find room in because I also have to keep days open because, you know, I want to go out to a medieval fair with Blood. I want to go apple picking. I want to have a Halloween party. So I got to block days out, too. So it gets all really, it gets messy and shit. They're not going to bring in Molotovs. Also, Fade, thanks for a 22-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations and I hope get a nice kick out of this little dev stream. So this is where it gets annoying that I can't see the right symbolism. I don't know what causes that, but it's like, please. Make sure you don't do the Ravens, because the Raven, I think, is the drone backpack. That doesn't match the camo, so I have no choice but to do those. So, I mean, we'll just, we'll just... Just some spare stuff. Just a little bit of spare gear, but I'm going to keep them under 30. Uh, cable ties he has in his uniform, but you're right. We'll just put an extra... Send in goat team six now. Put an extra two cable Sup ties guy. here. Love you all. LCPL heart. LCPL Aww. heart. LCPL heart. Tropic, thanks so much for the five-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I hope you get a nice kick out of this little dev stream. <clears throat> and we'll do some... Um, we'll do some spare... Um, wouldn't be under grenades. Spare one to those as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's your basic bitch rifleman. Now this is where we're going to do squad leader and team leader. Copy it off of the basic rifleman bitch kit. Now this is where I'm going to change up their shit. So we need a 320 system. Did that screw with your mags? Because sometimes, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Ron ones. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? All right, that should be good. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. All right. In the mission command, it's not doping. Well, okay, it's fine. It's it's slain. Let's go with that. Pay for Pain was a pretty big miss, but I'm going to rehost it in the first weekend of November and modernize everything because I, I explain it all in a Patreon document. If someone wants to link that, then feel free, but yeah. Yeah, so the big RHS... Uh, change this to squad leader, which actually doesn't make too much sense because we're giving him a grenadier kit. I usually like to do grenadier instead. So he has a lot of that. Uh, so what we need to do is I need to take his that, click on that. Let's do HEDP.
This is where I might actually have to change his kit up a little bit uh, because I need all of the room I can for additional gear. So I need... He's going to need flare rounds too. So not necessarily smoke rounds, more so flare rounds. Okay. My issue is he's also heavy right now. He's very, very heavy. So instead, we're going to completely clear everything out. I'm going to redo his kit from scratch just because I need to... I need to modify it. So he gets six mags. Two of them are polar. I'm going to ignore that. We've got two grenade pouches on the side behind where his arm rests. No smoke grenades. Okay. Let's get his, uh, let's get 10 IRs down on him. Let's do our 318. I'm gonna put it up to eight. Four on the side, that gets him to 10. Not enough for the IR monitor. I'm going to leave that space blank. I want him below 38. Oh, they're the bungee tabs to hold the... Oh. You're right, because it... Yep. All right. Thanks, Mark 14, Kofi. I appreciate it. Don't talk to me about Dead Man Switches. You saw what was released on channel this morning. I'm so annoyed. I'm still annoyed by, <laughs> by looking at it later. God, that pisses me off. It was funny in the moment, though. I'll give him that, but good God. We'll do five and five. And two hand flare whites just for simple illumination. Do I not have handhelds? I should, yeah, signal flares. And then I'm gonna go into his kit and also add those just in case. He's still gonna be under 31. Yeah, so keep him under 30. Perfect. Okay. A fackle is uh, the Russian stun grenade. Speaking of stuns, did I give him any 84s? No, I did not. He has one. He has room for one, though. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be heavier, but that's because he's SL. Grenadier, this is where... You know what? No, I'm going to... Um... I'm going to make him a little lighter. Six, and then four on the side for IR. Oh, I can fit a fifth up there, which actually, hell, um, can I just put another 84 on his vest? Perfect. Yep, that brings him down to a little over 36, which is great.
So we have the option of either doing team leader or grenadier. I'm going to probably make it grenadier again. So... This one's going to be a full 10 with some flare rounds and whole nine yards and shit. Okay, do you have, um... How many mags did I give you? Because I feel like... How did I fit eight on you? Do you not have any... That's why. I foregoed his magazines. So I'm like, there's no way I fit all of that. Motherfucker. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, right, well, if only. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna do some basic flare stuff. Another thing we could do, I'll, I'll ask him, um, If he wants tracer mags or um, all non tracer mags kits. Whew. We're not doing the dead man switch. These guys are more Milsim style players like the 506. We have to have standards. Sniping is actually pretty extensive if you turn on advanced ballistics. You have to get all of the equipment to do it properly, and it can be really fun and therapeutic, in my opinion. This is coming from a guy that sucks at sniping in Arma 3. <laughs> I'm gonna take these three kits, attribute, set them to playable. I want to take a look at them. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so let's look at the base rifleman and see what I got here. Oh, I'm way out of practice with sniping, too. I could refigure it out if you gave me like 15 minutes. Yes, I have Halloween stuff playing. We're not gonna see the dev for it for another week, though, because I'm busy with some other stuff. So. This is all standard, so two cable tie, 666. I don't like basics because they're basic. Two tourniquet, E-tool, earplug, all right. 10 IR strobes because this is gonna be about an hour to two hour operation. The one green smoke grenades, the two white. Two grenades, two stun, two Glock, 
some spare medical for the riflemen, four extra. And yeah, spare magazines, spare handgun magazines, and some hand flares just in case they're needed. But again, this is a night op with the, the laser, so. And bright. Super bright. Yay. Okay, so he's fine. Squad lead. Uh, medic for who, Lucas? Okay, so eight magazines, all of that's uniform. Ten IR strobes, eight mag, six HEDP, four IR, two stun. Where are his frags and smokes? Frags and smokes are in here, two pistol mags, the flare rounds, the hunt IR monitor, and the flat, uh, handhelds. Chat, am I missing anything? Yo, oh, what am I, what am I asking chat for? Hey! Super quiet. We don't really need colored smokes. That's just given as a principle. I mean, they're not... It's just because it's on the fucking uniform, so it's fine. Uh, handheld. Yeah. Stuns. Yeah. Wait, stuns? Stuns. Yeah. Spare medical I'm not going to do for the squad leader. I'm sorry. It'll be in the medic. Just the rifleman can carry some excess stuff. God, the 249 gunner is going to be thick. Thick with four fucking Zs. Anyway, hey, TL. Hey, uh, just, 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 just. Understood. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Ready. Yep. Just, 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 just think about the rabbits, okay? Shh. Think. You know, in hindsight, I shouldn't have done that because now the pools are going to be, you're like right next to each other. That's okay. Uh, that is all fine. Six, six, six. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Grenadier, nine. Oh, I need to put one in his tube. And that should be fine. He's on six mags, so he needs at least two spare in his backpack, which he has. Uh, the pistol mag, the hand flares, uh, grenades, stuns, frags, smoke. Uh, he does not have stuns. So I need to put some stun grenades in there too. All right, cool. So only with the TL. He only had four IR strobes? Aw. And I keep going to grenade because I think of IR grenades because I'm a goober. Um... He's got six in there and four in here, right? Yeah, so that's good. Um, 84, which is in this category. 84, and then we go into his rifle and we give him a... Uh... Wait, he had it loaded, so why'd you only have nine? What? Did I... Am I dumb? I'm dumb. That's why. Get rid of that. Put that in there, because there's no pistol pouches on this damn thing. We just throw that in there. And he's at 30 pounds. Uh, I'm going to do two spare magazines, um, two spare IR, and I am going to give him spare medical. That's going to be... Cool. Yep, all right. Uh, what else do I have? Because I have the roster written down. Ha! <laughs> he wants tracers. Okay. Tracers would be... What number? What designations are tracers? Ah, uh, do, 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 I'm going to take three of the mags in the vest and replace them with tracer mags, uh, which would be... Oh, my God. Fuck. Make sure you, we do RHS, a stan ag. It's a certain designation. Uh, 196. As long as we don't do M200s, because that's very funny. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> okay, 196 and 856.
Uh, M56 tracer cartridge has characteristics similar to 196 with a slightly longer tracer burnout distance. So that means the tracers go faster, but the M856 does not have a steel penetrator. It's a red tip. Or orange when it's in a 2 far 9. So if we're dealing with We'd want low collateral, so we wouldn't want over penetration. So we actually want to go with the 196. No, the 856 doesn't have the steel penetrator, which means uh, it minimizes collateral, such as bullets punching through walls. But oh, let me look at 318 real quick. Because um, I'm not going to go with a penetrating tracer round and then a non-penetrating thingamajig. Give me a sign. Silver bullet. Um, it's Yeah, because this is a barrier defeating round. So we are going for penetration if we are doing 318, which means we wouldn't care about over penetration, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah. Okay. Damn, I get a freaking giant case of it for 725. That's still really expensive. But all right, so if that's the case, we're going to want to go for the penetrator round, which would be the 196 for barrier defeating ammunition because we stick with the theme. Or I could completely redo all the ammunition. Let's, uh, let's AI don't let's see. P yeah, I will see tracer ammo, though. But tracer ammo is really good. Well, why is tracer ammo used? <clears throat> let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Tracer ammo is used to acquire targets, but if we're at night and the enemy don't have laser uh, night vision and we have lasers, then we just... No, so we wouldn't even have tracers in the first place because you have lasers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Karma. I'm gonna, we're not doing, we're not doing tracers. Um. And the point of tracers, I'm gonna roll back on what I said and give you all non-tracer ammo because you'll have NVGs and laser dirs and the enemy let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, have we? NVGs, so there's really no need for tracers. They'd be more likely to give away Thus outweighing their usefulness. Alright, because I have fat fucking fingers, I have to now fact check everything. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm gonna roll back on that. And for those of you that are confused, welcome to the research I have to do between all of my ops. It's so fun. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Now that we've taken care of that, I need to give him his 318s back, right? <laughs> hey, buddy, here's your ammo back. I'm so sorry. I could, well, again, why, you don't need to give tracers to the machine gun because he has the laser. So he would just put his laser on the target. There's, there's literally no point in giving tracers at night 
if you have a guarantee of the enemy aren't using NVGs, that's why I'm also giving them IR strobes. You know? That's that's the call there. Give me one second. All right. So, let me now tab out. So we have a medic, uh, auto rifleman, rifleman AT, and that's it. And then UH-60 crews. Okay. Rifleman AT is super fucking easy. Watch this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Rifleman AT, done. Okay, um, auto rifleman. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, bah, 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 bah. So I literally just take the TL, apply it, and then we're going to just change everything about it. So, since this is CQC, I need a really short 249. And I need to change you to auto. Let's, uh, auto, let's baby. S-A-W. Yes, big bulging pouches in the front. Oh, man. Still 267s on the side. That's fine. Um, 249. So a short, definitely. We might do a para. Or a south. I mean... So the para is nice because it's wireframe, but it's super uncomfy. Uh, also, it's a little blocky in CQC. You'd want a shorter stock for CQC. So that's another factor of is the, the carry handle in the way. It's lower here, which means it's meant to be side carried. Um, we also got to think about CQC. What could possibly be grat? Wait a second. Why are you? Why are you just going up or down randomly? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold no, 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 no. Wait. Yeah, now you're up. It's because of the magazine type. It might be because of the magazine. Let's do. Oh my god, okay. For the record, I know in this situation you'd probably do soft packs, but I hate soft packs, so we're doing fake <laughs> five five A one. Fuck you. <laughs> Actually we'd want penetrator ammo, so we'd use M85. I'm not doing that research again. We're just gonna stick with one one and be done. Fuck it. Um I'm gonna go with the uh the Savit. Uh, and then scope is going to be MGO. Which, that's night vision compatible, right? Yeah, primary supported. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a suppression scope. Or I could be a Chad. No, we're going to be Chads. It's... <laughs> you're not supposed to, but... <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. So the um, MGO is a good suppressive scope and a built-in rangefinder, but the 230, for, especially for CQC, and then we want to do, not the A, we want to do the, the PVS with the red dot on top. Speaking of, I mean, yeah, no, we're going into CQC, so actually we would want, we would want the other one. Fuck me. Uh, the tar on the bottom. I call it the tar. It's a TA-31. You got the red dot up uh, above. So, yeah, let's do TA-31. Uh, this time I actually saved the damn thing. Because you got the red dot on top. Because, yeah, going in there without that, that's that's silly. And these are supposed to be, like, you know, special forces. So you got to give them the best shit for the gear. 
This is the part where I'm like halfway in, I put this down, I click on that, and I realize it doesn't say primary supported, but it does, thank God. Okay. Special. Yeah, you want that little red dot above, because that's what the CQC site is. All right, but otherwise, now that we've settled on that, uh, we have to now build this glorious kit. 67, uh, we're going to do... See, that's what I love about it. It's easy, done, excellent. Now, here's what's going to be a little scary. Um, how how badly does the spare rob them of their backpack space? All right, it's like a magazine. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Riffleman, you are now ammo bitches. Please do not resist. Uh, so we're going to do 55A1. I'm going to do two. That brings them still below 35, so easy. Um... I might actually drop that box. So that means they're going in with a thousand rounds, unless I give the Rifflemen... And I say that on purpose. I say Riffleman because I think it's funny. What's what's your weight with the tube? 36. What's your weight right now? 34. So I'm going to give you a third. Oh, you might not be able to fit a third. Fuck. Uh, if I used 100s, it would work. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck me. All right. You are now fat. You have been blessed with... Well, actually, not to lie. Um, just, just just, take the fucking box. You're below 40. That's my limit. That's my upward limit. Just ammo. That's all we need. Uh, so, this uh, chucklehead... We have the IRs. Okay. We need his 83s. We need his... Um, Hands. That should be good. Okay, and what do we have left? The Modic. Ah, we have a special symbol for him, though. Uh, Modic. 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 Alright. So it's literally a rifleman. Except he has medical. So. Fuck. Everyone needs splints. Of course, I don't think about that till I get to the last fucking kit. Uh. <laughs> Um, you're actually going to need tourniquets because people are uh, only containing two. Send in goat team six uh, now. Blood's going to be a big issue. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. What time is it? 3.13. I got to wrap this up soon, too, because we're going to do Mike Force in... Actually starting it in 12 minutes, so I need to really wrap this up. What's the rest of his medical look like? Uh, he's got 30, so he's got a good chunk of bandages. I can bring it down to 75 by doing this. Uh, he has everything. Oh, he's going to need spare morphine and epi. Fuck. I'm going to rename this to Liru Cussing Simulator. 8 and 8. I'm just going to have to, uh, have to go through everyone's backpack and add two splints to make sure it stays under 40. The map is still wrong? No, the map is right. We're on Anazé, goober. This is definitely Anazé. It's the airfield on it. I 
I hate saving. Okay, uh, let's see. I call all collabs powwows. Don't judge me. He's below 40, therefore he's okay. I wish there was a hotkey. There probably is a hotkey for Arsenal. I'm just too lazy to find it. Uh, can I just put them in there? Awesome. Don't you lecture me with that Ron format provided bullshit. Ha, <laughs> machine gun, man. Gets splints. That's cute. Uh, boop. Cool. All right. Well, that's going to be it for uh, this dev. We'll probably finish it later tonight uh, just so I can, because I told Karma I'd have it to him by tonight or tomorrow. I want to get that sorted and then, uh, you know, work on Tuesday's mission file and... Then Thursdays, and then, wait, no, actually, I'm not, I only got making anything else this week, so I'm gonna get ahead on some other stuff, and then maybe actually have the time to try the Star Wars squad mod, because I planted some of my pl uh, potted plants, got the pineapple stewing upstairs with vodka, I've got the pineapple heads, root developing upstairs, I made my cider, I am so caught up with so much stuff. Oh, it's a great feeling. But yeah, we'll be back in like 45 minutes for Mike Force. Open open night so thank you so much for watching go operate operationally see you in a bit otherwise cheers have a good one